through the Silicon India University, we have hosted a slew of videos on various topics. These topics try to meet the deficiencies which techies face on a host of issues. This present topic is about uh, the importance of soft skills. The colonization of India has had its pros and cons. While our grandfathers faced the brunt of hostility, the present day generation has been left with a large mass of English speaking population. This has ensured that uh, we have maximized on opportunities in the IT and the ITS industries along with the BPO industries. IT companies in general face a lot of talent shortfalls in terms of uh, the sh uh, shortage of personnel having adequate soft skills. So through this video we have, uh, have some experts speaking to us. Hi, my name is Archana Mani. I am the manager of resourcing for Locus Enterprise Solutions. Locus Enterprise Solutions is not a complete IT infrastructure solutions. My opinion on to how the soft skills add value for a technical person, I would really say that soft skills has a major role for a, to play in, a, in somebody's career. Not only the professional growth but also a personal growth. So you may ask me a question as to why soft skill? What if we have a tr strong technical skills and can we not live up with it? So my answer could be straight no to it. Because if your only base is on the technology and your technical strength, how will you grow up in your career? In your career? To start with, yes, you are a junior and you will easily find a position to start with at an entry level position where you are almost in the back end job of the, you, you never front end the customer. But as in when you have to make a career, you really have to come into the front end show where you really have to interact with the people, manage a team, take ideal strategy decisions. So all this involves and all this calls in for your soft skills. Hi, I am Ashish from Zora. Techies are persons. Given that, obviously they would need interpersonal skills. What interpersonal skills we look at when we take in candidates range from communication, from team participation, how reliable, how dependable they are, how good they are in articulation of their ideas and such things which are essential for a person to grow in a company. Let us look at it like this. Suppose you were an island of knowledge and there is water all around you and there is land far away from you. So you would have to bridge this expanse of water through some conduits and you would require knowledge to come inside into your island. You would also require knowledge to go outside your, your area. So given that you would need a lot of Article, articulation that would require from you oral written communication skill that, that would help you build yourself as well as make the team all around you build themselves. So what are the soft skills what I would like to and go for? Soft skills would include something to do with the communication skills, most importantly the interpersonal skills, your personality, your attitude, your knowledge sharing, all this contribute to your soft skills. For example, if you have to talk about the communication, so we have different aspects. If you have to drill down on the communication, it's a verbal communication, it's a oral communication, it's a written communication. So these days, the world has become so fast that I think we are more on the internet phase, the email communication is very important for us these days. So we have to be, for example, when you're writing to a person, when you're writing to an email, so you just can't afford to write any text with any font or any kind of a style. Email language has a specific definition for each of the things. For example, if you communicate to somebody and you start using a bigger font and put all the text into the ball, into the bold font, it actually indicates as if you are not communicating, you are not talking to a person, rather it reflects as if you are shouting at a person. That's a bad communication and it has a lot of repercussions on it. 
right so to make your communication pleasant we should actually try and use a, a font which is actually pleasant keep the size limited as far as the official communication is concerned today emails have become a very potent way to communicate to the world across and emails have got certain do's and don'ts which would definitely help you to tell the world what is good what is bad what you want to say in a more measured and more succinct manner we lay down that we to our, our to our employees that your email should be culture sensitive should have correct addressing system should have a correct signing off format so that people across who are getting your mails are able to listen you able to read the email in a manner in which you wanted them to recognize or read it